Hi, good morning plant family. I am just now leaving my house. Uh, Monday morning, October 12th. I was just saying goodbye to my son. He is on his way to school here in sunny Florida. Um, for those of you that don't know me, my name is Jessica. Nice to meet you. Um, hopefully you can be a part of my plant family also. I am a currently a registered nursing student in the um, RN program. I'm in my third semester and uh, I have been plant-based for, well, since 2018. So for over two years, I've been uh, plant-based. And um, I'm just giving uh, everybody a, a little quick background. For those of you that already know me, I'm sorry. Uh, I just wanna make sure everybody else does. And um, so just a quick review of history. I've been plant-based for over two years. I was eating all kinds of vegan junk food. My highest weight is 170. I am about 165 right now from the last time that I weighed, which was um, a few days ago. So I'm 165 right now. I'm 5'8". People say I'm 5'7", 5'8". So I don't know. I don't know why I keep getting two different. Sorry, there's cars coming, so I have to wait. Uh, I'm between 5'7 and 5'8. Now, I joined the Air Force when I was 26 years old after 9-11 happened. And they they um, got my height at 68 inches, which is 5'8. So, I'm just going to say I'm 5'8. Although I am 45 years old, so I could have shrunk. That's a possibility also. But, um, so anyway, I was eating vegan junk food. You can have Oreos, chips dips. I mean, you can eat bad, uh, you know, a bad vegan junk food diet. So, um, what turned me, uh, plant-based also, just to let you know, is a documentary called What the Health. I highly, highly suggest that you watch it if you haven't already. It is such an empowering documentary, which is, of course, reality, uh, based on truth. And it was just crazy how what an eye opener it was for me I mean it was so it was so powerful sorry I'm looking to see if my son's coming and I don't even see him behind me and he's supposed to be behind me there he is it was so empowering he drives himself to school he's a senior in high school my son and I just bought him a Mazda RX-8 as his first car it's a six speed and he loves it so um Anyway, I had to teach him how to drive it too, how to drive stick shift. So I, you know, gained all this weight. Oh, I was gonna say that movie was so empowering, the documentary, What the Health, that my son went plant-based at 15 years old and my mom, um, and she was like 63, I think, or 62. And, uh, sorry, and I'm behind a school bus right now, stopped. Yeah, I can see my son, I'm gonna wave to my son. He's driving. He just waved to me. Ah, oh, my life. My son is my life, my heart, my soul, my air, my breath, as well as God. You know, I'm, I'm like, I love God and I love my son. So, anyways, I sure, you know, I was eating bad because you're like trying all these new vegan junk foods and then I, I realized, hey, I'm not really losing weight. I seem to be gaining because who can't gain weight on a bag of chips every day? Come on. I mean, got to be realistic. So then I uh, ran into Dr. McDougall, the starch solution diet. And I watched his uh, s seminars that he was giving. He's, he's given many, many, many seminars over the years. And... Um, and then I, I bought his book, the Maximum Weight Loss book. Oh, Jake didn't make it. Hopefully now he turns. Now he got it. So, um, for a little over, well, yeah, I say since the end of August, so the beginning of November, it's only been one month and I've been practicing the starch solution, uh, eating a whole foods plant-based diet. 
<clears throat> and uh, potatoes have been my staple for starch and I always eat twice baked potatoes um, when I can. When I forget to food prep sometimes and I'm really starving, then I'll eat the once baked uh, potato french fries, but um, I try to have always pre-made, pre-cooked potatoes in the fridge so that when I'm hungry for french fries or a baked potato, I can just go ahead and grab it. I'm waiting for my son to catch up so I can wave goodbye to him because up here at the light, I go left and he goes right. If I can turn the camera, if you'll be able to see him. Let's see. I don't know. He's coming up in a white Mazda RX-8. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to wait and see if you can see his white car. He knows I'm going to wave to him. <laughs> love you! So he yelled love you to me. Oh look, and now we're stopped at the red light. Have a good day. Oh, <laughs> you have a good day too. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. There's a guy on his bicycle and he thought I was blowing him a kiss and waving at him, but I was waving to my son, but I told that guy to have a good day also. That was pretty funny. Um, so I am on my way to work. I work at a doctor's office on Mondays and Fridays, and then I go to school on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. So, well, Tuesdays and Wednesdays I work at the hospital, and then Thursdays is lecture at the college campus. And so I have a busy lifestyle. So anyway, this quick little introduction, I guess, ended up not being so quick. So, sorry about that. <clears throat> but, um, so now basically I'm on the Starch Solution Lifestyle. This vlog about eat carbs, not animals, is me and my transition on becoming a, a person that practices the vegan philosophy, which is no expo exploitation of animals. It means going out and actually doing, trying to do something to stop animals from being killed. Um, it means that the vegan philosophy, you can't say you're vegan unless you're actually practicing its philosophy. So if y'all don't know what it means, I'll have to look it up for you and go over it one day with you. But it's, you can't have any leather, you can't, you know, you have to really, really, it's, it's a philosophy. It's a, a, a lifestyle way of living for the animals. So I am trying to slowly incorporate that into my life as well as I'm learning and going along the way. So unless you are practicing the vegan philosophy, you are not vegan, you're a plant-based person if you're not eating animals or animal byproducts. Just to clear that up because I don't know if people have actually cleared that up or not for you guys, but I know that I wasn't quite clear <clears throat> and so I've slowly started to do that on my Instagram page, um, you know, and I've tried to post things that are against exploitation of animals and against eating animals and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. Anyway, today I have my oatmeal with banana and I sprinkled some California gold raisins on there. So, this is what I'm going to eat on my way to work right now. a huge test coming up on Thursday that I have to study for. Oh, so I was going to say this vlog is basically a vlog about me being plant-based, uh, cooking recipes for you guys. Uh, I try to cook quick, simple, and easy recipes. Sometimes they're redundant. Um, I truly believe that you can eat the same thing over and over and over again for a, just a few months until you get sick of it. And then you can start eating something else. I think that's the best way to lose weight. <clears throat> in my opinion, if you have too many options, it can get very messy. I feel like you could fall off the horse if you have too many options out there. If you limit your options and you pre-cook and you have all your meals made on Saturday or Sunday ahead of time, cook all your potatoes, cook all your batches of rice, you know, um, 
what else can you do? Cook your batches of oatmeal. That's one thing that I don't do. I cook a fresh batch every morning. So this is not resistant starch oatmeal. If you pre-cook all of your starches and put them in the, on the fridge for over 24 hours and then you come out and reheat it, they become resistant starch, which is really good for your gut bacteria. And it helps you to, it encourages weight loss. Let's just put it that way. It, it eats the fat, it encourages fat loss. So I don't know if I'm saying that exactly accurate. If anybody knows and wants to post a comment, please let me know. So it would be a good idea for me to batch cook my oatmeal as well. So all I have to do is pull it out. It's resistant starch, which is even better for you than just the oatmeal itself. I mean, it's, it's amazing. Um, so let's see, I started at 165. My goal weight right now is 130. That's only because I've been that weight before and I, I felt so good at that weight. This was, of course, many years ago. I'm 45 years old now, so I just know that that was my really good weight that, that, that I felt just so good at. So I'm shooting for that number. Really, the number is not that important. It's how you feel. Um, I usually weigh myself maybe once a month, if that. I go by the way my clothes feel, so I, can, I wear scrubs all the time. So today I wear black scrubs, and I can always tell if they feel loose, if they're getting looser, if they feel tight, and that's really just the way I go besides weighing myself once a month. And that's really primarily because I'm on the starch solution lifestyle now. I want to see how well it's working, and um, obviously I want to I want to see what the results are, and. Um, so anyway, let me take a bite real quick, sorry. I'm talking too much. Mm. So getting back to what my channel's about. It's about me being plant-based, living the starch solution lifestyle trying to incorporate the vegan philosophies and living by them um, and also living through the coronavirus being a registered nursing student working in a hospital where coronavirus patients are at on my floor um, where I'm working so I mean there's a lot of excitement going on here in, in my life you know I'm a single mom of a 17 year old son I own my own house I'm, I'm I've written two children's books in my life they're published on um, Amazon and Kindle, so they're electronic ebooks. Um, I've built websites before in my life. I'm, I'm, I'm a Taurus, so I'm one of those people that likes to try anything once, and they like to just try things and see if I can do it. I don't know, I'm very adventurous like that, I guess. But um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this, so I'm almost to work. I work in St. Augustine, and uh, I haven't even eaten my breakfast yet so I will reach out to you guys and maybe do a video at lunchtime so you can see what I brought for lunch um, and I will talk to you later please hit like and subscribe um, if you like this video and of course you know what to do if you don't and um, I encourage everybody to to like and subscribe because I have a lot of knowledge that I'd like to share with everybody I'm a sincere loving kind, honest person. Um, and to those of you out there that need a hug during this hard time right now, or um, a little bit of love, I want you to know that my hugs are coming to you, and my love is coming to you from our Lord, from God, and um, that we can make it through this. I hope everybody has a wonderful, beautiful, marvelous Monday. Thank God we're alive. Thank you for letting us wake up today and enjoy this beautiful day. Try to make the best of it. All right? I'll talk to you later. Bye.